Good morning everybody. Today I'm working on my journal of stitchery. I have done a little bit um, on the odd day over the weekend but it, I just I couldn't get into it. Um, so I've put the camera on today. Now what I have done is I've just changed up this little bit of my path. Every time I saw it in the picture like on the the thumbnail on my video it annoyed me because the curve of it was just ugh, I don't know what it was doing so I took it off and I've just popped another little bit of lace down there to try and I've just made it a little bit more straight um, so it will be more pleasing to my eye I've also pinned another little bit of lace on that side of the fence as if the path is continuing so all I did was I just took out the stitches that I'd done and took the other piece of lace off and put this one on then I'll just stain it up with the pencils and things to make it blend in once I've stitched it on now this is my little um, vegetable garden and all I've done for my vegetable garden so far is I had this mesh fabric, this part here, not the selvage. I had the mesh. I kind of cut a piece with that shape, probably about that wide, and then I, I kind of, um, I scrunched it so it like almost had pleats in it, and invisible stitched that down. I found that it was a little bit too severe the pleats so I unpicked the pleats and what I've done here is I got a little bit of felt hang on I've got a little thread there um, and I've just felted in a little bit of felt not 100% evenly um, because ground is never even is it um, like the little gaps and things and like that's just been gently felted I don't know yeah you can sort of see on the back there where it's felted but when I do my vegetables in my garden that will hold things into place now at the top here I've just popped that little bit of lace across the top <clears throat> excuse me just to see if I like it may not like it actually there's a little stain on that part there so I might just trim it off a bit there we don't want that it's a bit too obvious it's two little pieces of lace um, just to finish the top of it off we'll see I've just pinned it there for the time being with this little opening here I've cut a little template of an archway um, and I think that will go there and it is an arch I kept saying arbor in one of my videos and I'm very sorry about that it's a little garden arch that's what it is an arbor has more of a roof kind of structure I think what I've done is I've placed little stones of the lace fabric same as the path here going up towards the vegetable garden and then that will be something like that there I've just marked where I want my little tomato trellis, the bottom of it, and the top will continue over the top of the vegetable garden there. I will put a little wheelbarrow over here and perhaps a shovel and a garden fork and a watering can. You know, just a few little bits and pieces hanging around. Uh, I'm thinking carrots, lettuce or cabbage, some sort of green, and maybe onion and leek or something like that in my vegetable garden so that's where I'm at there on the end here I removed the I had here if you recall I had that and I had this like steps I changed that what I've done is I've actually used my friction pens, pen so um, that's the first time I've ever used that I've kind of got the 
I think the lace will continue up here towards these steps and into a cottage door. It's not going to be a full cottage, but it will have the appearance of it being a cottage. Remember, I can add here if I want to quite easily. Um, I may remove this piece here and replace it with something else. I, in fact, I think I will because it's just, I want the house to continue. That might be a little bit bulky. Beauty about this, because it's only invisible stitched on, it's quite easy just to snip a couple of the threads and remove something. Um, okay, that is actually joined to that, but that's still okay because what I can do is because see how I've got stitches there I can just snip that not cutting my stitch cut that up there and find something else to put there that will you know just blend in a little bit better um, don't know what. <laughs> Haven't thought that far in advance. Just um, looking, 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 looking. See, this is the same fabric as this. I could continue it along like that if I wanted to, or because I want this extending and I want a bit of roof, I could actually just find a fabric for my cottage. Let me just um, have a look. I'll just pause. Okay, so I found this fabric and I thought that might be useful for the steps because it's got that those lines in it. It might help with the look of the steps there. And then I found this one and it's absolutely gorgeous. These are the um, forage the fabrics I purchased a couple of years ago and I'm thinking that that might work quite nicely a piece of this um, as the cottage I'm just trying to maybe there that would be better that way and like I said I can add a little bit more so if I place this part here probably going the other way I'm thinking so the patterns running the right way there to about well, I need a little roof so perhaps to there okay so let's just let me get some fabric scissors I'm cutting off more than I really need Leave those ones out. They're so big. Let me get another pair. <laughs> They're so big. Those ones. I think these ones might be a better size. What kind? They should be alright. <clears throat> I want a little door on it um, so part of this design will be covered but I'm just trying to get the right look of it then I can pin it there and then I can go back to my vegetable garden um, so this is the part here that I'm thinking will work that part there so let's just cut a piece out of there maybe a little bit bigger than what I need I'm not 
sure if I like those scissors that much. Okay, so I'm thinking. like that um, I don't know if I'm doing this right, I really don't. Could be too many. Okay, something like that. Um, looks a bit high, doesn't it? But that's like that. And then this kind of goes in there. Like, like that, and that kind of goes like that, perhaps. Maybe I only need two steps. Maybe I, maybe I just, maybe I don't need that bottom step, I'm thinking. It's a bit big. You never know, they might come in handy. So just let me see if I can find, I was thinking of a blue door. So let me see if there's a nice piece in here while I've got it out. There is a dark blue. Um, Strawberries in here. I could use some strawberries. Not bad. It might be a bit too dark because it's got a lot of passion on it, hasn't it? No, I don't think so. Um, just having a flick through. I've got I've got other things I can. I just thought I'd look in here while I had this bag out. Oh. This is lovely. Let me find it. Fabric here. Oh, it has cherries and strawberries on. And although, you know, my little vegetable garden is all the way back here, I think I've mentioned before up close I want larger things I could always perhaps have a couple of strawberries mingled in with the flowers that would be nice I must maybe I'll keep that out maybe I'll keep that out otherwise I'll forget it I'll put it in my little bag down here so that I don't forget about it okay let's just I'll go and see if I can find a door. Okay, so I've got this little bit of fabric. <laughs> it's actually part of an old um, a sample piece or something. I only need a little piece. Um, I'm just trying to think. I wonder if, like, if I can just... Not that big. Okay, oh, that one's actually 
actually. Okay, so I can do that. About there. I'll say. And. wide but let's have a look keep losing my steps so, I like the color of that blue I think it will work quite nicely like that. I do need to trim this side down because it's got a, it's been pink but and I want I want to let's just get it straight. And I think I want a little arched door. Oops. Kind of like that. Didn't look very good. Oh, okay. Like that. What do you think? I wonder I'm not real keen on these scissors. Big. And a bit dark, perhaps that. Hmm. These are not very good scissors. Do I need that all the way down, I'm thinking? Like that. Um, let 
no, I don't want a full house. I just want the, you know, coming out and down the path, that kind of thing. Um, so it needs a roof, but I think I'll leave that just like that for the time being. Give me something to think about. Like that. Okay. With a roof. I'll have to find some fabric for the roof. And that will cover that little piece there. Yeah. I need some lace. Where's my lace? Continue that bit of path here. So just cut a piece of lace off. Gives me a little overlap there. What I'm going to do is put those away. I don't really like them that much. See where I've drawn. All I have to do is kind of like that. Being very careful not to cut my stitches. under like that, it goes like that, what do you think, that looks, that looks okay doesn't it, I need a step, I need a step down, where was that other bit I cut off, that I said I could probably use, there it is, oh dear, it's almost like I just need a, do I? Not really. I don't want it three steps high. I think that would look a bit strange. Once it's got a bit of stitching and things on, it would probably look a bit better. So, let me put a pin or two in that. Like that. There we go. And it will be coming out of the cottage. Oh, I cut a little flower out of a, a doily and popped it there. It's only pinned. It'll go up like that. So that'll have larger flowers here. Like that. Garden arch there vegetable garden here and oh. whoops I touched my light uh, let me just move that to the somewhere safe <laughs> and get back to our vegetables so I have invisible stitched all these little stepping stones on and I was wondering about that I just see without that it it's just sort of looks a bit plain and I just thought it needed some texture 
but I need to sew that on before I do my vegetables. So I think that's what I will do there. And I need to stitch on a, a tomato cage, whatever you want to call it. So let me just invisible stitch this down and then I'll come back and embroider the tomato cage. So I've stitched all this little bit of lace on here and the lace over near the gate here. I have uh, secured that little bit of lace to the top there. So now I'm just going to do my little tomato, what is it, a tomato cage or a tomato trellis? I think it's a trellis. So I think I'll need some brown. I've got that one there. That could work. It'll have to work, as soon as it's the darkest I've got in front of me right now. <laughs> Okay, so uh, there's two pieces of that. What stitch would I use? Probably okay. I'll use it for thickness, just so it stands out a little bit. Um, let's see what the name of the stitch is that I want to use. A little book here, a little book that should help me. Uh, I know what I want to do, I just, I'm not sure if it's like, um, stem stitch, that's what it is, yep, okay, I know how to do it, I just didn't know the correct name for it, that's all, it's, you just go back on yourself, so I'll do that. Start with the middle one, perhaps. Okay. I can't how to hold my needle. And you just go back on yourself. You take a stitch, but then come back halfway. Like that. Well, I hope that's not too thick. And the same thing again, take a stitch and come back halfway, like that. It should be alright because it's got to stand out a little bit. Otherwise it'll just get lost. Let's have a look. Yeah, it needs to be that thick I think. Okay, so where, let me just... I probably want it to about there, so let's see if I can. About there. I'm just going to put a dot if I can. Because remember that's got felt on it, so there, okay. I want it there, but then probably extending up just a little bit more.
Let's just say my um, little pole here is made from branches so they're not completely straight. <laughs> oh dearie me, that's one way of putting it. One more. So that's the first one. Now I want that one and coming out a little bit and that one and coming out a little bit like that. So all right, so that's that. And then I'm just going to I've just got this neutral colored thread and I'm basically oops, actually I'm going to do it from this side, I think. Right at the join there. I'm going to do a couple of little couching stitches. There we go. Um, just leave the little ties like someone, you know, just a dark gardener just tying something off. There we go. that um, let me think I do need to have a little wheelbarrow here I think so um, I'll just draw a little diagram but I'm not going to just stitch over the diagram I want to piece fabric over the top of it so what size am I thinking here? I think like that. What does a wheelbarrow look like? <laughs> oh my, like that. Probably will. It has a little thing at the back, doesn't it? And then a wheel, obviously. 
like that. And it might turn out a little bit bigger than that. Um, what I'm thinking is a little tiny button would be nice for the wheel. Let me see if I've got a really tiny... Oh, there's a little one there. So I could do that for the wheel. Is it any smaller? Is that smaller? Ooh, what's that one? That's about the same, isn't it? Yeah, I think I like that one. Okay. I can have a wheel. Where's my lid? I need... Looks like it needs to be just slightly a little bit bigger. I need some fabric for the actual wheelbarrow. Um, can be any colour I want it to be. Let me go find some fabric. Okay, I found this little piece of fabric which I think might work just nicely. So just I'll cut a piece off here. I don't need a lot. Um, it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, so we want it basically like that. Like that, like that, and like that. That's the shape of a wheelbarrow, isn't it? Huge wheelbarrow. Um, but I might fold it over a little bit. I'll need to press it. And stitch it on. I think that will be the right size. I'll need to press it into shape. Put a little fold all the way around it. And that will go there. Yeah, because that's just that's just a little bit too big. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and press it, and then I'll be back. That was fiddly. Um, I have folded in three three sides of it. I don't know if you can tell. If I show you, I folded in this side, this side, and this side, and pressed it. And I've left the top open because I'll be doing some stitching as if there's like soil or something like that inside. So that is going to go there. I might just bring it down and cover that corner a bit when I stitch that on. And then that is going to go there for my wheel, I think. Big wheel, isn't it? Is that too big? Hmm, maybe I've got a dark colour button. Oh going to be hard to find. I'm sure I've got a dark colour button. It just doesn't stand out, does it, being that colour. I'll get the basics done first. So that one needs to go there. I'm just going to sort of lap it over the edge of my little garden a bit. So I'll put that pin there. And then the bottom will go up like that. And I'm just going to slip stitch 
this on around the three sides and like I and I might just invisible stitch the top a little bit um, I'm thinking like some something inside of it would be good with this part here I will use uh, um, wool I think I've got this charcoal wool and that will do nicely for the outside of it like that I'll probably I might even do the stem stitch yeah I might even do the stem stitch on that and then just maybe a couple of um, stitches for the little stand at the back and then I'll work the wheel out so let's see uh, well, I hope it goes through all right should do went through over there oh no that was couching wasn't it I might have to couch it on I might have to Where's mine? And that's okay as well, because it might not go through. Oops. We will soon find out how easily it goes through. can't do it until after I <laughs> okay I'm going to slip stitch my little wheelbarrow on first I think there is this one here so uh, I'll start over here and just take a couple of invisible stitches to hold. Oh, do I want it? I might want something coming. No, because I kind of want it looking like it's spilling out a little bit, perhaps. So, we'll do a couple of little stitches just to hold that in place. Across the top. And then I will I'll probably come from the wrong angle, but it's okay, we'll work it out. I think I normally do it the other way. Yeah, I do. That's okay. We'll, um, can I do it that way? We all have our preferred angles, so let me have a look. It should be all right. Tiny little stitches and get one right in the corner yeah. okay so that's stitched on and now let's see I take it from that end I kind of I think want it a little bit longer yeah maybe over here a bit more over here let's try that to there let me see if I can do the stem stitch with this it might just be too thick and look not so good. 
actually goes through. That's a bonus. I think it would. I just, I think it would. It's just a little bit too thick like that. going back through. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that got it. Okay, so I think couching that on might be the best look for it. I want it thick, but I don't want it too thick. So, come up through there again. And down there. Like that. And give it that nice straight line. And then I should have some dark thread that I can just couch that down. But what I will do is put a couple of stitches. I kind of want to make them a bit longer, I think. About there. Uh, about, about there. that there. So just a couple of straight stitches. And then one right next to it up there. Uh, coming down. Underneath. So it's almost like a triangle kind of look. Does that look like a wheelbarrow so far? I hope so. <laughs> I need to find something here. I'm sure I'll find something. And I need to couch that on. With some charcoal, but I need to go put the oven on, so I'll come back once I've sorted this out. So I've done the little wheelbarrow, as you can see, and what I used was the one part of a press stud. I thought that worked quite well instead of a button. There's the other little part of it there. Um, yeah, and I'd had it in the wrong spot anyway, for some reason. I don't know what a wheelbarrow looks like. So I just um, put it at the end where it's meant to go. So that's that. And I think that's all the stitching I'll do today. But what I am going to do is just do a little bit of um, the, a bit of green around here so that it has time to dry before I do any more stitching. And this is just the ink tense pencils that I've been using uh, with 
some water. So, it, although it looks really dark now, it will lighten up once it it dries off. That one looks really dark there. Okay. Um, I did want to also let me just move that brown out of the way so I don't get them confused. I think I want to do just a little bit around um, these little stepping stones. I'll just I'll just do a little bit like that, perhaps. Oh, that's brown. Okay, that's okay. That doesn't really matter. I'll be doing a little bit of stitching at the base of this um, as well. Oops, that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, we'll see how it goes. That one might be quite dark, but I can always stitch over it with some grass or whatever. Try to add a bit more colour to the background because it can look a little bit plain, but there's a lot more to go on. I mean, we're only in the early stages of this, so I'm I'm kind of presuming that um, I may run out of room, <laughs> but that's okay. I can add. I can add. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that at the moment. I think that looks quite nice. Um, this, I just need to do a little bit more along the edge here, like I did before. Definitely a different brush, this one. I'll have to find the one that using before um, and then oops hang on I need to it's really pretty lace there we don't want to get that on it um, so make 
sure I don't lean it on anything. I'm just going to do just a little bit around here as well, like that. To kind of blend it into the rest of it. And then that will be it for the day. Spend some time looking at that little cottage. I thought maybe it doesn't need an actual roof. Maybe it just needs um, lots of greenery around it, I'm thinking. It's not going to blend in there for some reason. Blend in. It's okay, it'll be, um, have grass and things like that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, what was I saying? It will, I was thinking, yes, that's, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, that, I did find this piece of fabric, and it has lots of leaves and things like that in the fabric that I can cut out. And I was kind of wondering if I could just make it all, like, leafy at the top as if, you know it's behind a tree kind of thing I'll have to cut some out and have a look and I'll show you the next in the next video I do on it I think but that's probably it for today I've done the start of my little cottage there fixed up the path here and started on my vegetable garden Look at that. Yeah, that's easier to see, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that and I will be back when I'm working on it again. I'm not quite sure, probably a day or two I'm thinking because I have to let this dry properly and I have to go out today, I have to go out, uh, no, I have to go out tomorrow, I have to go out the following day for a while. Um, you know I'm going to fiddle with this, don't you? <laughs> because that's what I do. I'll just see if it, I'll put some stitches in there, it'll be fine. Okay, so thank you so much for watching again, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, everybody.